We're going to talk a little bit about guardians and what your responsibilities might be. So in your folder, especially guardians, it may be in the veterans packet as well, I want you to pull out that little sheet that says guardian responsibilities and duties. And by the way, Bill, uh, Ron Saxton said if anybody wanted to make any changes, you could. I'm going to give you his cell number. It's 1-800-FORGET-IT. Ron's done a marvelous job at this. Mar Ron's done a marvelous job at this. Okay, um, a couple groups. We want to make sure. veteran. If you're a veteran of World War II, please raise your hand. Keep them up. If you're a Korean veteran, please raise your hand. If you're a Vietnam veteran, please raise your hand. If you're in the military at all, please raise your hand, or ever have been. Got a great group. Let's give these a great hand, okay? Now, if you're a guardian, we want you to raise your hand. Going to be the caretakers. We've had trouble dealing with that word guardian because many times when I call a veteran, and I say, do you have anybody in particular that you want to be your guardian? They say, I don't need a guardian. I can get around by myself. I don't need any help. And uh, we said, well, it's not really a guardian. It's really going to be like a pal that stays with you most of the day. So with the Honor Flight staff, we looked at some other words. And one of the words we came up with was escort. And we had a couple comments about escort that there might be a definition that you didn't want to use that word. But... Here's what escort says. One who accompanies another to guard, protect, or show honor. That fits pretty well, to show honor. Because guardians, that's what you're to do that day. You're to show honor. And before I go any farther, you are guardians. You are not going on this trip as a tourist. If that's your idea, let somebody else go in your place. You are going as an escort or a guardian to a treasure. All right, let's look down the list. Uh, caring for your veteran is your primary job. Now, that may sound a little bit elementary, but it is your responsibility as a guardian to keep your eye on the veteran at all times. Uh, you never know where these guys will traipse off to if you don't keep an eye on them. So that's your job. Keep up with them. Safety is our major concern. There's a lot of places that a person could trip and this is not only veterans this is guardians as well so just be careful uh, there's a lot of granite in Washington do not wear leather sole shoes wear rubber sole shoes something that will not slip on granite we've already had well out of 14 flights we've only had one incident that's a pretty good track record but we don't want two incidences okay so just keep that in mind now we're going to have on board four physicians and each guardian will be given these physicians cell phone number so at any time during the trip if your veteran expresses any concern about health you will have the physician's phone number and you can call any of the four and the closest one to you will be there as quickly as possible now while we're talking about the physicians. We've got four physicians that are going with us. Uh, Dr. Tripp Jones. How about you guys stand if you're in the room? Dr. Tripp Jones, Dr. Ed Moore, uh, Dr. Hank Powell, and is Dr. Elaine here? She's not here. Okay. But at the end of this meeting, they're going to have a table set up outside. If you have any medical concerns, please stop by and talk to them. We're talking about oxygen, wheelchair, or any other medical concern that you want the physicians on this flight to know about, you be sure and stop by that table. It won't take long, but just let them know so they'll be aware of, of your situation. Um, be alert at all times. Again, guardians, make sure your veteran doesn't leave his camera sitting somewhere or anything like this. Um, encourage conversation. <laughs> I was talking to a veteran the other day. And he said, I asked him, I said, does your son or your daughter want to go as your guardian? And he said, let me think about it. He said, I've got three sons. He's 93 years old. He said, I've got three sons. And he said, I have bored them to death with my war stories. 
I think I want a new guardian so I can tell my stories too. So that was his choice, and he's going to get a new guardian. Um, you'll be, a, as Ron said, you'll be making some memories with these veterans. So keep that in mind. Take plenty of photographs with their cameras. A lot of times the veterans will take a camera, but you know, if it's your camera, you don't get in the picture. So guardian, take their camera from them and get a shot of them. A uh, couple other things, the section captains, each of the red, white, blue, and green buses will have a, a captain. That person will be checking off your name as you get back on the bus. We've never left anybody in Washington yet, and we don't want to start on this trip. Uh, no one, we've been asked this question a lot, do I need to take food? No. I promise you there will be more food given to you on this flight than you normally eat in a day. I promise you. You'll probably end up with a sandwich in your pocket when you get home. So you don't need to take food. Do I need to take any money? No. The only thing that we ask that the veteran take is a picture ID. Driver's license is great. But something has to have your official name and your photograph on it to get through security. Make sure you have that. Um, listen to your veteran. As we said about the, uh, the veteran that his sons had heard all of his stories, we want to encourage you to try to get your veteran to tell you their stories and just be their friend for that day. Um, the normal thing, be sure to drink plenty of fluids. We'll have cases of water on each bus, so that will not be a problem. Don't hesitate to ask if you need anything. We'll have snacks, peanuts, big bar, whatever. Uh, one thing to do, everybody wants to know how to dress. Check the weather forecast in Washington the day before the flight. And you might want to take a light jacket, you might want to take an umbrella. We take ponchos on the trip, so we're pretty much covered there. But just dress comfortably. You know, just, just dress comfortably. Okay. Uh, even though, even though, uh, you've got a the guardians you're going to have a camera strapped around your neck and you're going to maybe have shorts and a t-shirt and a tennis shoe. you are not a tourist I tell you that you're not a tourist you're a guardian of one of the greatest properties that we have so you be sure and take care of your veterans